Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So obviously for today's video, as you can see, I will be recreating my Qatar Airways cabin crew look wearing the burgundy uniform. Um, as some of you may know, I've already uploaded a couple of videos recreating looks from other airlines and I've been receiving questions why I haven't um, really uploaded anything wearing my Qatar uh, Airways uniform. So, to answer your request and your wishes, your, your wish is my command, here is my video teaching you a couple of the cabin crew, uh, Qatar Airways cabin crew makeup do's and don'ts the standards if you will uh, of the qatar airways uh, cabin crew grooming so if you're ready let's begin So let's get started. Before I apply my makeup, I like to do my hair first so that it's already out of the way. I don't need to keep on, you know, brushing it away from my face. So for the standards for the hair of Qatar Airways, um, if your hair is short like mine, you don't really need to put it in a bun. And the standard for that is as long as it's not longer than 6 inches, you can put it in a ponytail. Longer than that, you'll have to put it in a bun. However, if your hair is shorter than mine, um, you can simply use a headband, an Alice band, or you can clip it on the side, but it shouldn't be longer than this one. And then, um, when you're wearing the jacket, it shouldn't be shorter than the top collar of the, of the jacket. So that's going to be sort of the guide. Whenever girls who prefer their hair cut short, they can, uh, they can use that as a guide. Okay, so as for myself, I just like putting my hair in a bun or in a ponytail like so. So as you can see, my hair is not too long, so I can still wear it in a ponytail. I don't need to use a uh, a bun tool or I don't need to put it in, you know, braid it and roll it in a bun. So I like to tie it first like that using, a, you know, simple, any, any hair tie that you have to... Uh, hair gel like this um this one is from pen shop you get it here in the philippines it's a pomade it's it has strong hold and shine and it doesn't look too stiff when i apply it on my hair so i just like to apply a little bit especially here where i have the partition and then i like to comb it with a fine comb like so and then of course we use the scrunchie of Qatar Airways. So if you're going to be wearing a bun, um, I prefer using two of them so that I can cover the entire thing. But whenever I do ponytail, I just prefer using one and then I tie it up like so. There you go. Can you see it? Yeah. Just like that. For the hair color, it should be one shade lighter than your natural hair. But to be honest, um, some girls, they go from black to blonde. As long as it suits you, it suits your skin tone, and it's even, and no roots are visible. Like, for example, if I choose to go blonde, I should do it at least once a week. I should color my hair once a week because my hair grows really fast, and then I'll, ha I'll start having black roots so that's the rule when it comes to hair makeup is very simple very easy for qatar airways you don't have to be a, um, a makeup master for you to be able to do the entire qatar airways look the minimum requirements are only six um, primer foundation uh, lipstick mascara blush and of course the nail polish so it's also included in the minimum makeup the nails but we're gonna be talking about that later on let's start with the primer um, there was a time that primer wasn't uh, part of the minimum uh, makeup requirement but um, a lot of girls started having problems with their skin so they decided that okay primer is now a must but there in reality there's no way for them to know if you've really used the pro primer or not for today's video I'm using the one from makeup revolution this one is the ultra face base primer um, so what's allowed and what's not allowed for foundation um, actually there isn't any rules or particular rule when it comes to foundation it just has to match your skin tone and the important thing is you have your foundation um, what they don't like is the extra extra shiny look dewy dewy look because the thing is if you use too much of that um, dewy foundation like cushion foundations um, it gets too oily because of the weather in in Doha why isn't concealer 
part of the minimum uh, makeup requirement, it's because not everybody uses concealer. So concealer, you can use it whenever you have blemishes or you have a huge pimple that you need to hide from the grooming officers. Yes, we do have grooming officers. Now, um, they've actually changed what they're called. They're now called um, image and style officers, something like that. Uh, I, I, still, I still can't really remember because I'm so used to calling them grooming officers. So what they basically do is before every flight, they go to the briefing room and check on everybody's makeup, uniform, um, grooming for the guys they check our nails so we just stand there and then you know turn so that they can see the entire look and then they they tell us okay you need more blush you need more lipstick you need to change the color of your lipstick you need to touch up your nail polish your uniform is too tight your uniform is too loose and whatnot so basically um, they just they're just there to tell you if you need any corrections and they're there also to help you for example one time i forgot to bring my my jacket and i'm going to a european destination and that time we don't really wear jacket um when it's summer because it's really hot in doha but now jacket is worn all the time but so yeah um during that time i forgot my jacket so i went to them and then i borrowed the jacket so yeah those are their responsibilities yes we have grooming officers uh, but like what i said concealer is not a must but i'm gonna be applying concealer as well so i'll be right back there you go i've already applied concealer um it's a must for me it's not a must for the airline but it's a must for me because i have really really dark circles and if i don't put concealer my makeup is not completely done so next for the minimum requirement for for the for for qatar airways makeup is the mascara but I'm gonna skip on that for now because I like to apply eyebrow and um, eyeshadow as well. It's not part of the minimum requirement. See, if you even if you're somebody who's not really good at putting on makeup, they've made it really really easy. So even if you don't know how to apply your eyebrows, it's fine. If you don't know how to put your eyeshadow on, it's all right. You can even go for a flight without eyeshadow. But if you choose to put on eyeshadow, there are certain colors that can be used there are only a few colors that you can use and those colors are the ones that you can find in the uniform so it's like um gray um pink um this beige color brown neutrals like that but what i noticed is if you're good in blending in your 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 um eyeshadow you can get away with using a couple of like purples and a little bit of green even if it's not allowed um just along as long as you know how to properly blend it and as long as it looks good when you're wearing the uniform because um let's admit it if you're wearing the burgundy uniform and then you're gonna apply blue eyeshadow it's not really gonna match you know? today i'm gonna be using my ever favorite um eyeshadow palette very cheap one that you can get from Shopee or Lazada uh, from O2O. So I'm going to be using a brown shade here. There. So it's similar to the shade of the Oryx in my uniform. I don't want to use two dark colors uh, today because I want to use red lipstick. And I will tell you why I need to use red lipstick today later on <laughs> there you go let's apply a little bit of brown very easy eyeshadow for today very simple very quick we just apply the brown shade on the outer and inner corners of the eye i'm telling you this is one of the easiest makeup techniques that you can do but it's still gonna look really good after this one trust me all right so and blend it up blend it upwards there and then i'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of shimmer in the center and then we're gonna blend that with the brown later on and there you go you have the halo effect right it's so easy i just use two colors and we're gonna use the brush to blend everything together so it's seamless just gonna get a flat brush like so tap the excess and then apply some here and here apply a little bit of 
highlight over here. I usually do my makeup is I apply eyeliner. Eyeliner is not part of the minimum makeup requirement, but you are only allowed to use two colors. Brown, oh no, sorry, three. Um, gray, brown, or black. So those are the only three colors. If you want to be extra playful and you want to do pinks, blues, greens, or whatever, it's not allowed. So save it for your layover. <laughs> I'm just going to use a liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm going to wing it ever so slightly because they don't like the extreme winged look. Actually, this is a little bit too much. This is a little bit long, but I can usually get away with it, um, especially if, if the makeup is really, really nicely done. And then we're going to apply the same on the other side. Now looking at this one, I feel like my eyeshadow is uneven, so I'm just going to add a little bit of a darker brown on the outer crease. Oh, I'm gonna start applying my mascara, which is part of the minimum makeup requirement. So before that, I like to curl my lash. So let's do that. For the mascara, the only color allowed is black. I tried using brown mascara before, and I think I got away with using brown mascara for maybe three flights until finally yeah somebody saw it and told me you're not allowed to use brown eyeshadow so um yeah i try to be more playful with my makeup but nah it's it's not allowed it's not gonna work i like using volumizing mascara especially the ones uh that are both volumizing and lengthening and waterproof because again, when it gets too humid, you don't want your eye, uh, your mascara melting on your under eye. And it's going to make you look so stressed and tired. I don't like that. Most of the makeups that I use whenever I'm going for a flight are long-lasting and um, waterproof. Because I am lazy to retouch. I don't like touching up my makeup when I'm already in the flight. Mainly because I feel like it's unhygienic that your face is already dirty and then you're gonna use your brush, put it on your on your makeup and, yeah, and then you're gonna use it again when your face is clean. I don't like to do that. So I just use a lot of um, setting spray and long-lasting makeup so I don't have to touch up my makeup every now and then. The only time I, I touch up my makeup is when I'm doing an ultra long haul flight which is like an 18 or no 16 hour flight maximum because I remove my makeup before going for the crew rest which is like 4 hours so um, in that 4 hours I allow my skin to breathe during the flight um, yeah I just remove it and I only leave the eyeshadow there because I take more time um, Applying my eye makeup, my, my, my eyebrow and my eye makeup compared to applying foundation and blush, which is very, very easy. You can do it in like 10 minutes. So what I do is I just wake up maybe like 20 minutes earlier than the rest so that I can um, apply foundation and blush again. And nobody will ever know that you're doing a 16-hour flight because after the flight, you're still fresh because the makeup has been touched up. Well, actually, it's not touched up. It's fresh because you removed it and then you applied it again. Now, I'm going to proceed with my eyebrows and use an angled brush like so and do my eyebrows. I haven't done my eyebrows uh, this way for the longest time. Um, let me see if I can still nail this. I'm not so used to having dark eyebrows now. <laughs> let me just brush some of it off. I just like doing my eyebrows like this whenever I'm in uniform because I feel like, um, I don't know, I just feel like my eyebrows should be like this. <laughs> I, don't have really, I don't really have any explanation for that. I just like to be fully made up when I'm uh, wearing my uniform. So this one is a light brown uh, shade. I just, I'll just apply that there. To give our eyebrows a more 3D look. And I'll do the same on the other side. We are done on the top part of our face. So now let's proceed with the blush. But before I apply blush, I like to apply a little bit of contour. Because the light inside the aircraft, it's very pale. And 
um, it's not really flattering. So I want I want to just add a little bit of contour on my face, but not harsh contour. Not like the same contour you're gonna do if you're gonna be going for a um, a photo shoot, because again you're gonna be talking close up with your customers, with the passengers, and you don't want to look clownish, you know. So for the blush, again, it's part of the minimum makeup requirement. There are certain colors that are allowed. So you can use peach, pink, orange, depending on your um, skin tone. So for me, I prefer using um, pinkish shades like this because I am extremely, extremely pale. Uh, let me just contour my forehead a little bit. I like using um, pink shades like this. And I like doing it just here the upper part of my cheeks and then I blend it inward to my to the apples of my cheeks yeah I like doing it higher on my brow uh, brow bone no uh, cheekbone if you ask me why I don't know I just prefer it doing it. I, I just prefer doing it like that blend blend and I really love using um, big brushes like this because I um Again, I feel. Count how many times I've said I feel, I feel, I feel. But I feel. I guess I'm just used to doing it like this. So, there you go. And let me just add a little bit of highlight as well. There. And I, I, I just use the same brush, to be honest. There you go. I've already contoured my nose. I've applied a little bit of highlight. We are almost done. Now we're going to proceed with the lipstick. Now for the lipstick shades, um... Not all shades are allowed. So um, the colors that are allowed are pink, um, wine, red, deep pink, um, deep red, burgundy. Darker than burgundy is not allowed. So we cannot use purple or anything that has purplish undertones. Um, nude is not allowed. Um, coral is not allowed as well. So for today, I told you that I have to wear red lipstick, right? The reason there is that our lipsticks... They have to, our lipstick shade has to match our nail polish. So since I'm wearing a red nail polish for today, I have to wear red lipstick as well. So that is if I want to wear pink lipstick, I have to wear pink nail polish. Or I can simply opt to have my nails done in a French manicure or nude or um, in colorless nail polish. The important thing is you have nail polish. We cannot go up for a flight without nail polish. Why? I don't know. But as long as you have clear polish there, it's good to go. If you wear clear polish, nude, or French manicure, you can wear any shade of lipstick. So if you go back to all, all, to my like older videos, you're going to notice that my nails are usually in French manicure or nude because I like to change up my my uh, my lipstick colors because like for example if I want to go darker on my eyes obviously I'm not gonna wear red lipstick I'm gonna tone it down with um, a pink or um, yeah with a, a pink lipstick so there um, I have been talking so much let me just get for today I'm gonna be using the Sephora number 97 because my Sephora number one is already dried up so yeah I'm just gonna use this one this one is um, towards the deeper shade of red but not really burgundy yet and there you go there you go that is my makeup look now to finish it up let me just put on my entire uniform now it's time for me to wear my hat so this is the burgundy uniform of Qatar Airways and I haven't worn this in a really long time for a flight. Um, I've uploaded a couple of TikTok videos wearing this one. Um, if you're wondering why I started uploading um, photos or videos of me wearing the uniform, please wait for the next video that I will be uploading. Anyway, um, that's not for today's vlog so yeah this is the hat of qatar airways the iconic hat of qatar airways this ties up the entire look of the uniform for me this is the my favorite part of the uniform with the oryx right there um yeah this is the finished look of qatar airways cabin crew so i know i've already uploaded in the past a video uh, a get ready with me video but that one is for my gray uniform so i decided to make one wearing the burgundy uniform because 
I just really love this burgundy uniform as well. Um, if there's anything I'm going to change with this makeup look, if I'm going to be wearing my burgundy uh, uniform, it's that I'm going to wear a lighter shade of lipstick because the gray makes us look a little bit older or uh, more mature and um, we look scary. So I, I tend to um, tone down when it comes to my makeup and my lipstick uh, when I'm wearing my gray uniform because I don't want to scare the crew as well. Um, my face already looks intimidating as it is so I don't want to, you know, um, add to their to their nerves when they're going for the briefing and they see me with really dark makeup. But anyway, yeah, that's our look. Actually, this is not supposed to move. Actually, we have a, a, a rubber right here but I broke my rubber. So you're supposed to put the rubber and put it on your, your pony or your bun so that your hat is gonna stay in place so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have um any more requests for a cabin crew makeup tutorial just let me know in the future uh so that i i'll start uploading more videos of that um do you want me to make another look do you want me to do my gray uniform makeup uh let me know as well in the comment section and yeah, please stay tuned for the next video that I will be uploading um, probably in three days. I'll be uploading it three days from now. Uh, I'm sure that um, it's going to answer a lot of your questions. Um, a lot of the questions that's going through your mind right now. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of that question in my comment section. But yeah, please, please do feel free to ask me any question related to uh, the uniform or Qatar Airways for that matter. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, this has been Days with Kat. I will see you next time. Bye!